Hi, this is Guy with Performance BC. This video is for people who are seeing the error. The system found unauthorized changes on the firmware operating system or UEFI drivers. This is affecting Asus motherboards running Windows 7. It doesn't seem to be affecting Windows 8 or 10 uh, just due to the way that it Windows is being loaded. The update is designed for the BitLocker software and the affecting update is KB3133977. That's the one causing all the trouble. So if you haven't installed the update already, I'm going to show you how to disable the update so it doesn't get installed. If you have already installed it and you're getting the boot error, uh, just scoot forward ahead in the video to uh, where I'm showing you how to adjust the BIOS. So this is for people who have not installed the update yet. If you will left click on the start button, and then left click on control panel. You might see a view similar to this. This is category view. And we want to swap this by selecting the view by drop down box and changing it to small icons. The reason is Windows Update will be the last one in the list. And this is where we want to head to. Select Windows Update by left clicking. You'll see this computer has not been updated. There are 71 important updates available. Left click here to display them. Once they're all displayed, we're going to click on uh, left click on the name title bar here. This will alphabetize them, making it much easier to find the particular update. We are looking for KB3133977. I left click on it once to highlight it and make it turn blue to let it know we want to work with it. And then I'm going to right click to get some options. The options we want to select are uh, this hide update option. So left click on hide update and Windows should not install this update in the future. I'm going to click on the back button. Uh, I did not uh, actually hide the update on this computer. Uh, I'll, I'll do so in the future, but I just wanted to show you guys where it was. So left click on hide update here. I'm also going to hit the back button here and show you one more thing where you're on the uh, left hand side, if you choose change settings, you might uh, consider selecting the check for updates, but let me choose whether to download and install them or download updates, but let me choose whether to install them. Either one will work. Uh, I prefer the first. This will keep Windows Update from breaking your computer, as might be happening to you right now. Okay, so uh, that's to show you how to not have the problem. If you already have the problem, I'm going to uh, show you how to fix that now. I'm going to reboot this computer so you can see what the BIOS looks like and where the setting is. This motherboard is the Asus A5. I'm excuse me, the M5 A97, if I remember correctly, M5 A97. That's right. Most of the BIOSes will look a little bit different, but hopefully this one will look similar to yours. Once I see this black screen, I know my computer is starting to boot. I'm going to start tapping the F2 or delete key. Either key should work for Asus motherboards. It hasn't started booting yet. Give it one second. I'll know when I see the Asus logo. There it is. I'm going to start tapping F2 here. Okay, now I'm into the BIOS. I'm going to select advanced mode in the top right hand corner. This is the UEFI BIOS. Like I said, yours might not look like this. I'm going to confirm that I wanted to go into the advanced mode. Uh, there's a good chance your BIOS will look more like this. We're going to uh, head to the boot tab across the top, select boot. Under boot configuration, you'll see that uh, you are allowed to scroll down a little bit further than what's displayed on the screen. So don't panic if you don't see it at first. We're looking for the secure boot option. Uh, left click to select the boot option, and we're going to see the OS type. This is what we need to change here. This computer is not having the problem, so the Windows UEFI mode works fine. Uh, you guys are going to want to select other OS. This changes the way Windows is loading, and it should get you around the problem that you're having. I'm not going to select it because, uh, like I said, this computer is not having a problem, but just make sure you uh, leave other OS selected, and then hit the F10 key. That's the shortcut for save and exit. It's going to ask us to confirm that we are okay with saving and resetting. Select yes. 
and your computer should boot fine now. Once you get into Windows, I'd suggest that you either uninstall the update or better yet, even go to a restore point to before when the update was installed and then go through the beginning of the video to disable the update so it doesn't get installed again. If you have any other issues or if this doesn't work for you, leave a comment in the section below and uh, we'll see if we can't help you get through that. Thanks. Hope you have a great day.